day guys how you doing i hope you're well so we're jumping straight back into the dirty loops rabbit hole what was the last one we did we did thriller and uh yeah i was quite amazed a lot of you guys in the comments told me that, that was actually two videos done in two different continents at two different times and it was spliced together by the very talented aaron on the drums who is clearly a quality video producer as well as uber talented drummer so a lot of comments on that video saying right now you need to check out something brand new so do run away the very latest single so let's jump straight into it probably stop it a few times as we work out what's going on and some sort of reaction at the end let's go Right, from the off, it sounds, again, I probably said this in the very first video I did, sounds a bit like an 80s sort of soft rock band, like it's it's going to be in the film Mannequin or or Big with Tom Hanks. It's got that sort of, I don't know, that 80s vibe to me. This is very different, guys. You guys told me in the last video that you called their sound, what was it, jazz fusion. Now, I said it was a melting pot of sounds, so I guess jazz fusion is almost the same as jazz melting pot because that second word could be anything. So, what, jazz soft rock fusion, jazz rock and roll fusion, whatever you want to call it. It's definitely got that vibe at the start of this one, but I'm loving it. It's taking me back. Old school memories. Saying that, he's got a headband on. He looks like he's a bit like a, <laughs> a 70s, 80s Elton John character. Obviously, the other guy on the bass has got four arms going on, so there's something going on in this video. If you've got any details about what they're sort of trying to portray, please whack it down below. I'd love to know. Get it up. Wow. I'm taking that bite. What the hell is going on? This is mental. Donald Bill and Ted, let's get bogus, man. <laughs> Oh, 
this is more than a jazz fusion. This is this is got awesome. This is huge, isn't it? This is massive. I'm loving it. Can you tell? <laughs> Guys, this is so unique. I'm buzzing from head to foot from this record. It's literally, it feels like some sort of, I don't know, 80s, 70s vibe. It's reminding me, I think there's a group in the UK called, I think it might be the 1975. I think that might be their actual band name. But it's got, it's, yeah, it's got that sort of melting pot of fresh new sounds, but it sort of harps back to, I don't know, the 80s, definitely. I mean, look at them. <laughs> 80s, fantastic. Dirty Loops, the power trio. Got the keys to the Lamborghini. <laughs> stop it there guys I tell you what it always amazes me the amount of people involved in their videos you'd think it'd just be the three of them <laughs> it's literally yeah tens if not 20 30 sort of people there's a whole stockholm orchestra going on so yeah hats off to to how big this production is what an incredible track that was honestly when i say i'm buzzing i'm literally tingling all over from that track <laughs> That is powerful, man. It's, it, it's so uplifting, isn't it? It's so, I don't know, just heartwarming. It's really, it's really, yeah, uplifting. It just puts you in a good mood. It, it Like say, it, it makes you think back to, to years gone by. The 80s for me, I was a teenager in the 80s. So, yeah, that's, that's definitely taken me back a few years. But what an incredible sound again. It is so unique. I've not heard anything like that for a long time. It, like I say, reminds me of the 80s, but it's not the 80s, is it? Because it's completely different 
completely fresh, a very different sonic experience, but with with hints of the 80s flowing through it, if that makes sense. What a band these guys are. I think that's three tracks I've heard now, and every one of them has been completely different. So when you say jazz fusion, yeah, they're fusing all sorts with that sort of jazz and, let's say, orchestra style, I would call it, as well as a sort of a soft rock style almost. Guys, that was incredible. If you've got any details about this that I may have missed, please do whack them down below. As always, guys, thank you very much for checking out the videos. Big love, big respect. Been getting a lot of comments from you guys. I am dyslexic, so reading and writing is not my strong subject. Trying to reply, it does take me a little while, but you'll probably notice I'll reply to everybody with an actual reply to your to your feedback and your, your input. So thank you very much for that, guys. I really do appreciate it. So if you've got anything you'd like me to check out after Runaway, this band is quality, so I'm definitely going to keep digging down this uh, rabbit hole because I am loving it. Anything you'd like me to check out, please do whack it down below. I've obviously got a list of stuff in front of me that I'll try and get through as well because, yeah, you've given me a lot of recommendations already. If you want to see my very first video to Dirty Loops, be up here or up there, whichever one it is. And I could also, I'd like to recommend, I've got a sort of a little music channel. And the very first album that I uploaded was a band that I saw in the mid-90s in a little nightclub in Nottingham. And they were called the Jeep Girls. Now, yeah, not what I was expecting when we went into this nightclub. There was about six of us all going out for a night. We were, we were into house, we are house music DJs, so we are into house music. But on stage was a guy with a big afro with a, like, a wooden old-school bass guitar thing, whatever you call them, excuse my ignorance. There was a guy on keyboards and sort of piano. There was a guy on drums. There was a guy on vocals with like shakers and tambourines. There was a whole band, like a live PA. And what came out of this band was the most funky, the most funky house music I'd ever heard in my life. It was almost like if you heard Daft Punk live for the first time, a little bit like that sort of experience. So if you want to check it out, I'll, uh, I'll put it in, in one of these videos again. It's the Jeep Girls. There's like 12 tracks on the album. It might be 45 minutes, but just have a little flick through it. It's, it. It sort of reminds me of the Dirty Loops in a little way. Now I sort of think how this band is versus how that was back then. So it could be an interesting comparison that you might like to check out. So if you do check it out on my other channel, the Departure Lounge Recordings, I really appreciate the support, guys. It's only a new channel started this year, just a couple of hundred subscribers. So big love to each and every one of you for supporting it. Right, guys, enough waffling on. Thank you once again for checking this one out. Until the next one, peace, love, I'm out of here. I hope you have a great day. Cheers.